Right now, celebrate the season with Dana Tyler. Hello, I'm Dana Tyler. Happy Thanksgiving and welcome to our holiday special, Celebrate the Season. Like nearly all holidays and events this year, this Thanksgiving has a very different look and feel to it. Hopefully you're celebrating wisely with family and friends in a small group or virtually. Most important, this is a time to take a moment to truly understand what the thanks in this holiday might really mean. Thanks for where we are as we continue the work to move past the worst of times. And thanks for the people who help us get there. We've met heroes of every stripe over these months and have witnessed their incomparable sacrifices. And just as the Thanksgiving holiday is centered around food, there are millions of people who struggle on a daily basis to feed themselves or their families. Just before the pandemic struck, an unlikely but near perfect partnership was formed and was able to step up efforts to support the food insecure. CBS 2's Hazel Sanchez has their remarkable story. I used to walk up to the subway every single day, and we'd be going right past, and you'd see everybody lined up. Yeah. And that was sort of what got me thinking about it, which is crazy. Actually, not so crazy for David McInerney, co-founder and chief executive officer of Fresh Direct. My first thought was, do you come and volunteer? You know, do you help pack out the bags? And I mean, that's good, and it's a great thing to do. But I'm happy with where we ended up. Where he ended up is in a partnership that has raised millions and kept this critical New York City lifeline accessible for the growing number who depend on it. New York Common Pantry is New York City's largest community-based food pantry, headquartered in McInerney's East Harlem neighborhood. They're practically neighbors. I certainly didn't have any idea how many different ways that our partnership would take form. I honestly think if they were not there at the beginning, we would have had a very difficult time. We, pr we probably would not have closed, but we would have had to turn people away. Our first big initiative was getting uh, some visibility around Common Pantry on our site and allowing customers, our customers, to donate. And that was back in February, right before COVID hit. And things really... Um, exploded. To date, about $2 million has been raised. The customer donations was just the beginning. Because of the pandemic, pantry volunteers were staying home. Vital manpower, unavailable for packing up food for hungry clients. McInerney saw a solution here too. Food and boxes and sweat equity were put to work here in those crucial early months. We've seen a 17% increase in the number of new intakes. Those are people that have never come to a soup kitchen before, never come to a food pantry before. For others, it's been a long-standing lifeline. Laura Rivera has been coming here since her husband died seven years ago. What I can't buy because I don't have enough money, they make up difference. Geisha Jimenez says for her, common pantry services are essential and go beyond filling her cart with food. I wouldn't have had anything at that time. I didn't have no furniture, I didn't have no clothes, I didn't have anything, and they helped me find places to get stuff. Fresh Direct operates out of a 640,000 square foot warehouse in the Bronx. There are nine miles of conveyor belts and 3,000 employees. At New York Common Pantry, boxes are packed by hand with 70% of the work done by volunteers and always with attention to customer needs. So we really want to maximize the fresh produce, especially during this time, it's very expensive. In the truest spirit of giving and being thankful, valuable office space has been donated so New York Common Pantry and Fresh Direct can work closely to evolve as they serve a growing population in need. It's an office that we have that's not being used. Why not get them in here? We're able to save about $80,000 in rent. Um, that's around, you know, 65,000 meals a year that I can put you know, back into our programs. A fortuitous partnership that underscores the true meaning of Thanksgiving. The more you learn, the more you realize what a big issue and it is and how challenging it is. And I think, you know, we really have our work cut out for us going forward. And the question is, how do we do more? In the spirit of this holiday, we meet the givers, those who make a personal sacrifice to help others. Maybe it's something in their DNA, but it's definitely something in their heart. CBS 2's Chris Raggy introduces us to one. 
We first met Chun Rosencrantz early this spring as the pandemic enveloped our city. We watched as he delivered sandwiches to a vulnerable population of those mostly living on the streets. I want to remind people kind of uh, through my actions and my outreach to that they are lovable and worthy. And He calls this a movement. The I'll Be There project was founded in 2016. It's kind of a, uh, an idea that, that many people have utilized in their life is that everyone deserves love and respect. He shares part of that love in these homemade sandwiches. There are personal messages in each one he delivers. This winter, he will also be giving out coats and socks. And he says having grace in giving is as important as the act itself. I really want them to find the coat that they want. I want people experiencing homelessness very rarely have the opportunity to, to shop with dignity and respect. So along with a small army and solicited donations, it's boots on the ground, one sandwich, one coat, one act of kindness at a time. I think that we have an opportunity to try and connect with each other in ways in which we haven't been able to in the past and try to come together. And in celebrating this Thanksgiving, he adds, he is the lucky one getting to do this. I do consider this my city and I do consider uh, people who are houseless to be my family. Um, and so that's who I'll be reaching out to this year.